we are um, at the start of our journey. Uh, my hair is real frizzy. I just showered and then didn't do anything about it. So it is what it is. This is what it looks like normally. It just does what it does. Uh, there's Jonas. We're on a journey. We are driving to Milwaukee, Wisconsin, which is six hours if there's no, well, six hours if there's a little traffic of driving. Um, for ISU Four Continent Speed Skating Championships, the first one ever, inaugural. We're going to be there. We're going to make history. Yeah. I don't know. I'm pretty excited watching actual live speed skating. Um, so I don't know how much I'll be able to like film and do in there because I'm not sure what their policies are going to be about video and all of that, but wow, I hate that car. Uh, <laughs> um, and, but I'll, you know, we'll just try to do a like little video blog series on it. See how it goes. Um, traffic's real bad right now. We're still in Minneapolis. We're like, we just left. It's gonna be six hours like, to get to the border. Yeah, it's gonna take us six hours to get out of Minneapolis, apparently. Uh, so that's that. Anyway, that's it for now. Check in later. It's nighttime now. We're stopped at the gas station to get gas in the car. Um,. Jonas is inside. We take turns so we can just leave the car here with all our stuff in it. So it's like one of us fills up the car while the other one goes in and like buys snacks or does whatever and then we switch. It's my turn to sit with the car. Um, eating some snacks from the back. Um, anyway, we're like halfway maybe to where we're going. It hasn't been that long. It's actually really interesting. This is, there's like, the only people on the road are basically us and the long haul truckers. <laughs> Which is weird because it's a Thursday. I guess maybe nobody travels on Thursday and it's not like a Thursday where there, it's not a holiday weekend or anything. Um, and the weather has been mercifully non existent. Yay. Um, because when I first bought these tickets, um, I was like, well, I'm committing us to going to this thing, and if there's snow, we're going to have to drive in it, and that sucks. But so far, so good. Hopefully that didn't jinx us. Like, there's nothing wood in this car. Who am I kidding? I was like, touch wood, but please. Um, so I guess touch non-existent virtual wood that continues thusly. Um, but that's my update. Just hanging out, driving down the road, driving through Wisconsin, listening to Spotify playlists. Fun times. We made it here. We've uh, we've actually been here for a few hours, cobbled together like a weird dinner out of whatever I could find in the refrigerator. Uh, yeah, it was strange, but. Um, I mean, it was fine. It was like beef and broccoli, but it was still weird. And it was at like 9.30 p.m. It's way too late to eat. Um, anyway, we've been here, hung out for a bit, going to bed. I'm not sure what is up tomorrow morning before um, skating starts. We'll be there at like 1.30. Um, so... I have a bit of time in the morning. It's after midnight now, so I sleep for a while. But don't know otherwise. Anyway, walked a bit. We're puma hunting. Yes, you heard that right. I am in Wisconsin, in the city, and. I am pretty sure I just saw a mountain lion walking around, just hanging out in the yard. But I'm going to go look at the tracks and see. Here's the tracks. But you can tell something was walking here. But I don't know what. 
so I'm not any closer to finding out what it was that I saw. <laughs> We're hunting. I don't know though. So I haven't learned anything other than I definitely saw a large animal that looked very cat-like. That's what I've got for you. That's what I know. We are now off to, well, first stop for some food. And then, um, he's kidding. Day one. That's, today is the longest day, but it's still only like three hours. And they're doing, um, the 500s, the 3000s, and the 5000s, and the team sprints, which is like kind of a lot of events, which they seem to believe there's not that many people competing in this event. But we'll see. I don't know, you know, most of the speed skating countries are in Europe, and Europe's not at this event. So. Probably there are not going to be that many countries competing, but it's fine. It's still going to be fun. So we're walking in and there's such a line. This parking lot is so full. I did not expect this many people here because we're like, an, like more than an hour early. It's so amazing. Anyway, so this is great. I love this place. So many good memories of life here. Um, it's going to be a little bit weird, I think, being on the other side of the ice. Like, I don't think I've ever sat in the stands before. I'm like fairly sure of it, in fact. <laughs> anyway, here we are. Wow. I don't think I've ever looked at it from this angle. <laughs> Do we want to sit like there or... Um, okay. Yeah. Finish is yeah. there, yeah. So, but if you go to the next section, well, but I'm yeah, just like this because then you can feel not trapped. No, I know. This is great. Okay, so, ah, oh, just feelings. I have so many good feelings right now just being here, like the memories I have made on that ice. Ah, oh, hello. It's like coming home. The video board's really far away, but that time is a new track record, so that's pretty awesome. I'm really excited I got to see that happen. Setting up for a medal ceremony. It's really loud. Yeah, I'll try to video X some of the actual skating in the next round, maybe. They're going to do the 3000 next. This is the 500, and it goes so fast, so um, I don't know. But I'll try to actually show you some skating. I just haven't been because I've been trying to pay attention, so I don't want to get distracted. Oh, here, that's the person who has the record, the track record now. That's exciting. I'm so excited I got to see it. I'm really glad I was here for it. The medals will be presented by ISU Rep. William Bayard. I will sign that. The medals will be presented by ISU Rep. William Bayard. And the clips will be presented by Speed Skating Legend Bonnie Blair. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Bronze medals representing Korea. Please congratulate Yen Hong Kim. <laughs> and the silver medals representing Canada, Buckley McDougall. <laughs> and the gold medals representing Korea. Win, and ladies and gentlemen, our congratulations to the ISU Four Cotton winner and medalist. Ready to 
Nana, she's picking it up. It's the last lap. Her technique is flawless and she is skating beautifully. might hold actually. She was on today. I love watching her skate. Her technique is perfect. This Kazakh girl is flying. She's so fast. Like, that's absurd. 31.8. If she can keep running those laps, she's gonna win easily by a lot. There, now, there she is. Yuna picked it up. Yeah, you can, Yuna's gonna start picking up time, I think. I thought you know, she was going faster than she dropped off. Oh, she's actually slower. So, I'm a little bit surprised. She's so good. She's so good. She's so good. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got to make some noise. This is Yinsha. 
Morisov out of Kazakhstan. Now in the corner, close again. Here she comes. See her picking up the pass. Yeah. Wow, 407. Child is really quite fast. This is quite a performance page. It really is. I'm really excited to see Jaywon Chung skate. He's as fast as he looks. <laughs> I was really impressed with him in uh, the Pyeongchang. I love the 5,000. He's so fast. He still look this kid just ran a thirty oh four. What? How? How? He has two left to go and he just dropped a sub 30. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous skating. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> 
I cannot, this, I, I'm so impressed, this USA kid, Emery, Emery Lehman, he just like made a big comeback, like a big time comeback. That was really impressive. That was one of the best 5,000s I've ever seen in person. There's another Korean skater skating and they played this song right now and Jonas and I are laughing so hard, we like cried. This is the greatest thing that's ever happened. Honestly, the only way this would be better is if they were both Korean. Yes. <laughs> you know, if you think of it, it Gangnam Style was the beginning of the rise of K pop. <laughs> Team Kazakhstan's out here killing it. Like, they're running 29 with three laps to go. They're killing it. Both of them. If they can keep this up, this is seriously impressive. They're they are killing it and they're like the same pace. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> Yep. Kinda yeah. They're gonna this lab's gonna be amazing. Here we go. Last lap, pick it up. Let's go! You got this, you got this, you got this. Yeah! Wow! Yeah, wow, 619s, two, two sub 619 times, and the Euro's aren't even here. Like, what? What? <laughs> so close. That's about the fastest you're going to see without the Europeans around, so. <laughs> The track record 616. Yeah, track record 616. <laughs>
my fingers or my toes because vitiligo and ice sports are kind of a bitch. Um, I'm really thankful that I didn't have this problem back when I would skate all the time because I don't think I would have skated all the time if vitiligo was a thing that I had to deal with because it sucks to skate without, like, it, it sucks to just, like, stand without being able to feel your toes. It actually sucks to skate without being able to feel your toes. Um, so, thankfully, that's not a thing. I'm truly enjoying everyone, all the teams, people hanging out here in the hallway, waiting for everyone. It's real great. I like it a lot. It's making me happy. Anyway, um, I have to, uh, I'm meeting some friends for dinner, so we have to sort out those plans now. And that's, that's that. Did you have a good day? I did. Did the, you? Yeah. So there were, what, there were five events today, and the Very South exciting. Koreans won three of them, so wow. as a South Korea stand, that was pretty good. South Korea <laughs> Former resident Former of South resident. Korea. Yes, I did live there for a while. That's true. <laughs> Former yeah. South Korean resident. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So... You know, this is like the white dude who is into Asia. Like, mm -hmm. you actually lived there? Yeah, I that's mean, true. It's true, that's I did live there. It's, it's like more legit than just being the white dude who's it's into It's true, Asia. although the charming like little like rural town that I lived in is now basically like an outlet mall, like suburb. It's super so it's weird. weird. It's like, I can't believe little tiny Yoju's a suburb now. Yeah. Whatever. It, really is. it is what it is. Mm -hmm. Life moves on. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, I obviously had a good day, so I'm glad you had a good day. I did. It's really hard to get us both in. <laughs> Here, I'll stop standing up all the way. <laughs> okay. okay, cool. Yep. We'll see you in a bit. Yep, bye. Speaking of memories, hello. I have many good memories in this place. It's truly more Belgian than Dutch, but we go with what we go with. It's uh, dark, so you can't see, but there's like a creek and this cute little bridge right here, which is pretty nice to look at if you can actually see anything, which currently I cannot. Day two, on our way back down to the ice center. Um, I'm in the car. Sorry about the video shake. Uh, just had coffee with my good friend um, who I haven't seen in a really long time. That was nice catching up, figuring out life. Uh, we never had life figured out. We still don't. Um, probably in Jonas' way right now. Just trying to turn. Um, and. Uh, yeah, that's it. So we're, it's a really short session today. It's like one to three, basically. So there's not a lot of racing happening. Yesterday was kind of the big day, but we're down. We're headed down there. Um, and more of the same, I imagine. But day one was fun, so hopefully day two is also pretty great. We made it. We're watching more ups. It's pretty low-key right now. Really going here. It's like an hour before the start, so um, yeah, just hanging out. 
watching people skate and slowly warm themselves up. This is my speed of skating right now that's happening. Gosh. So smooth. It does. I mean, it is real relaxing when you're not like trying to skate fast. It's actually really relaxing. But, um, yeah. Going slow is nice. It's great. Yeah. That's what I got. This is the cutest thing, watching them practice this. building and um, I don't it's super weird for me to sit here and watch people skate and like see it from this perspective it's, like not be on the ice or on the other side of the ice or on the other side of uh, this wall that's right in front of me it's like kind of a bizarre feeling to me um, but I don't know that is what it is I guess I used to stay here in like all the time, regularly, on the regular, um, and I'm just like sitting here watching. It's kind of, I guess this is how it feels, right? Like you become an adult and then you like turn it over to the next generation, <laughs> I guess. Not that like, I don't know, it's a little weird because it's not really like the next generation. I think if I was like, if it was U.S. Nationals, then that would really be like the next generation. This is like, this is four continents. So this is like high level and it's not just the US, it's like Asia and, and um, other, well, it's really mostly the US and Asia, but there was um, South America yesterday, which is great. But I don't know, this is what it is. It's a little bit weird. Nostalgia feelings, all of that. I guess that's what happens when you get old, you know, whatever. So. We're getting ready for a mass start, which is simultaneously the greatest and most terrifying speed skating event, if you ask me. Um, basically, everybody starts at once instead of it only being two at a time, so they're going to have nine all on the track at once. Um, and it's like mass chaos, but pretty awesome so get excited it'll be great um this is a start i think right here because they've got the, the person starter gun so uh, we're gonna it's all gonna happen right here but something if something's gonna go wrong it's usually gonna go wrong at the start so uh we'll see new little chaotic and i in like kind of the best way but i would I wouldn't want to race one. I'd be terrified to race one. They're super fun to watch though. around here and then everything happens. <laughs> Yeah, they all have to wait. 
until the timing, like, because you get the points for leaving us for the stages, basically.
I left that quarter it just went. <laughs> Yes! Yes! Yes, boy! Just continue when we got it. Yeah. We're going with the we're going with another one strategy, I guess. Just stay out in front as long as you can. Hope nobody catches you. It hasn't really been successful yet, but yeah. No, I know. This is the thing. I'm like, they keep. Everyone keeps trying it. I'm like, it didn't work for Irene or Guru. Yeah, and they're they're probably, they're probably better skaters than you. Almost certainly better skaters. Than you. It didn't work for them. I don't know why you think it's gonna work for you. Charlie got his got his stage victory and I was just chilling in the back. Yeah, that's like this. That's a good. This is a better strategy than let me just get way out in front. I mean, yeah, you'll pick up these stage points right here, but it's because of the way the points are distributed, it's not matter. Yeah, that's the thing, you know, they always do it. Eventually, everyone else decides to go, and then you're just, let's go, Darius. <laughs> just kick it in the back, I guess. Like there's, and now they're gonna go, and there's no way you can keep that pace. There's no way. Yes! I know, I was like, <laughs> he's hurting. <laughs> he's hurting. He's hurting. <laughs> They're gonna catch you, Rosie. Maybe they won't, I don't know, but... I mean, they're definitely closing, but yeah. maybe they did let him get to I don't know. Let's go, Darius! Let's <laughs> go on the board, let's go on the board. He's coming! <laughs> Yo! Yeah!
ladies and gentlemen, the gold medals represent Korea. really pretty. Just needed to film that for a little bit. It's looking gorgeous. This is the best part of driving west at this time of day. It's like, that is so nice. What a beautiful sunset. Look at those pretty colors. All right, just need to share that. So, because we are us, um, there's an outlet, well, there are many outlet malls on the way between where we were and where we are going. Um, and we also conveniently got an email from our friends at Adidas who told us that the outlet malls, the outlets were having 50% off this weekend. So guess where we are? We promised ourselves we'd only stop at this one because the other one's not that good of a store. But, uh, you know, here we are. Creators unite. Creators unite indeed. I'm gonna go be a creator. I'm always a creator. That's why I love Adi. They get me. Yeah. Um so I didn't buy shoes. I could have. They had these continentals that were pretty cute. Um Jonas got them. Uh, and they were not exactly my size, but they could have been my size if I'm wanted it hard enough and then they had some Stella McCartney Ultra Boosts that were half price and um, but those were not my size no matter how ooh the Oakley Vault um no matter how hard I wanted it um so I, uh, no it's not is it oh no it is Oakley you're right the Oakley Vault oops yeah I was like, that's the logo. We were just looking at Oakley because we were thinking about tennis um, eyewear earlier. Restroom's there. Um, yeah, we were thinking about tennis eyewear earlier, and so I was like, oh. Um, but I bought a jacket and some more joggers for tennis, but I'm really proud of myself because I didn't buy shoes. They had a couple of different ones that I... I liked that technically fit me, but I didn't buy so Because I didn't love them and they weren't exactly the right size and all of those things and I listened to myself Although again, I did buy things, but it's like a jacket and some joggers That will be good for tennis and I know I just got rid of a pair of body dust joggers, so I Got rid of them because I was like I don't need this many pairs of joggers and then I bought another pair These are just black with black stripes. Um, so hopefully, I don't know, hopefully I'll wear them enough that I can justify having them and not, whatever. Um, anyway, and yeah, and I bought a jacket, which is like a heavier weight. The jacket is, um, it's like a mid-weight, like it's not a winter, but it's not just the windbreaker shell that I bought the last time on Outland all day. Um, so it's... Um, I can't, I'm not going to wear it when I play indoors, but I think spring and autumn when I'm still playing outdoors, it'll be good because it's warm-ish, but not super warm, but also like water resistant. So I think it'll be good. It'll be a good jacket seasonally. So that's my hope anyway. Um, I didn't buy those. I didn't buy the kids rail pink and white um glitter court shoes i can't remember which court shoe brand it was but i didn't buy them even though i was like rail pink glitter what um so yeah i felt like i was restrained i also they had the black 
and white truffle hoodie that I didn't buy at Outlet Mall Day and it was still half price. It would have been like the same price as it was on Outlet Mall Day when I didn't buy it and I still didn't buy it. So that's my successes at the outlet. I don't know. I bought stuff, but I could have bought more stuff. So I'm going to call it a moderate win. I don't know. Anyway, we are on our way back or well about to be we're we're on our way back um we're like 20 minute drive outside of town but we're still on our way back um and yeah skating day three was successful i we had team pursuit today and the thousand meter and it was fun super fun the whole event was really fun. I mean, I, I love watching speed skating live and I love Four Continents events. I don't know, it's just because, um, especially in speed skating, like the European teams are so good that the Four Continents really gives a lot of the Asian teams more chances to win medals. So like Kazakhstan did really well. They always do really well at Four Continents ice events. Um, just because they're such a small country, but they have strong programs. They're just not strong enough to be contenders in like worlds or Olympic level, but they usually kind of clean up at Four Continents and they did too this time. And, um, I learned that I, um, I'm apparently, like, I apparently am all in on um, Kazakhstan ice sports. So thank you for that, Dennis Ten. May your memory forever live on. In the dreams of your fellow Kazakhs. Here's to you. Just made myself sad. It's a good way to end, huh? Made myself sad. See you later. <laughs>